Hi guys, Happy New Year and welcome back to my gaming channel. Yes, that is right, we're here to do some more TCG unboxings and today I'm very excited because we're going to be doing some Pokemon Go Japanese unboxings. I got some imports from Japan, I actually had some on order from like when the set first came out in the summer and then over Christmas I got a bit of money so I was like, imports. And I say Happy New Year even though it's probably February when I upload this but I've been taking a little bit of a break from Twitch, a little bit of a break from the videos as well. There's so much that I want to do, there's so many things that I've got still to upload from last year. I've got like six or seven videos all done and filmed and just need a bit of editing and sorting out that at this point they're like in a sort of vault that I might do like a throwback at some point where I just do a few of these videos at once to like upload if people are interested there's some unboxings there's some twitch highlights that kind of thing i've just been taking a bit of a break and i've just not got around to it so we're going to do some new videos this year we've got the gen 9 uh, scarlet violet tcg set coming out we'll obviously hopefully get more nintendo direct that kind of thing we are going to be doing that sort of stuff and i am also wearing my splatoon pokemon crossover t-shirt with a quaxley which is super exciting i thought blue for blue today with the uh, pokemon go so we got a couple of booster boxes, I have a couple, I'm just going to open one today and I was lucky enough to get the um, promo packs as well which I assume there's seven in this set and there's one card per pack kind of thing so we have six today. So hopefully we don't get any duplicates, it's like Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Pikachu and I can't remember the others but I, I, I don't know, we'll see what there is and there's 20 packs in here. I've got more Japanese Pokemon TCG, Pokemon Go uh to unbox as well and i haven't even opened any of the things i keep looking at that because i've got like a new shelf with loads of cards on and um, stuff like sealed ready to unbox and i have haven't even touched pokemon go at all i was originally thinking of doing some live on twitch but it's kind of a bit hard to sort of get it all set up and i prefer just doing the youtube videos and then i can give close-ups of the cards and all that sort of stuff so we're here doing japanese pokemon go i might do some english pokemon go and then we're probably going to jump straight into scarlet and violet so without any further ado i think we should unbox the booster box first and i love these japanese booster boxes seriously they are so small they're dinky they actually fit on the camera it's just like shiny star v which i got so obsessed with for the last sort of year and a half absolutely love it it's like a little mobile phone like hello um ditto are you in here i'm hoping to get some dittos all that sort of cute stuff i can't remember what's in the set like i haven't really looked at it in a long time but here we go okay that was actually quite tough to get into but you know what it is i love these booster boxes from japan like i say and i love the booster packs and the cards the quality everything they seem to have is so much higher quality than the english set so although this is kind of half easy to get out but it's uh, it's stuck oh my gosh i'm so excited okay so 20 packs we have oh my gosh these qr codes i'm not entirely sure what it's for but these look so cool i don't even mind that they're always like the same artwork kind of thing but oh my gosh the japanese booster packs that just look so cool and I always get so excited because it does cost a lot to sort of get them imported and oh my gosh 20 packs let me just get all of them out so yeah I think the last time I did an actual Japanese uh, TCG unboxing on this channel was October 2020 no 2021 gosh so nearly a year and a half ago uh, when I did a shiny star V unboxing which was super exciting and I got another one of them recently as well when I got the Pokemon Go, so look at those, oh my gosh, 20 packs, there's going to be something fabulous inside, let me move this out of the way a little bit, and straight on to the first pack, I always remember there's like a little bit of a knack to open in these, otherwise you have to use scissors, but I try not to, I think it's like, there we go, Ooh, a little bit of a rip, and I don't know the card trick, I don't know what we get in these packs, so we're just going to do the first one as it is kind of thing, that is something from Pokemon Go, and we swing it round, and I just love Japanese cards. First of all, these are so cool because they've got the Pokemon Go logo. They've got the silver borders, which are coming to the UK. One well, of the UK, the English versions for uh, Generation 9, which is incredible. Just want to make sure that it's in focus. So first off, we have Rattata, uh, Be Barrel, even though I would have thought that was Smeagol. Taking a bit of uh, credit there with a little photo bombing, just like he does in Pokemon Go. Um, Steelix, incredible. Oh, this has got a U next to it. I'm not too sure on... The set it says a 71 which is decent love this slow bro card i remember that so cute uh hollow gyarados and a silver what do you call it uh steel energy which i think you must get was it then five cards plus an energy which is always hollow we've got the gyarados which is cool amazing um i'm also on the hunt yet yeah, for dittos we want some um 
V's and V maxes, I think, is what we're looking for. Uh, like Mel Metal. I genuinely can't remember what's in this set. There's obviously a Charizard of some sort of description, um, kind of thing. So here we go. So yeah, I think we just open. Oops, I think we just open them like normal. <gasps> Squirrel, which is what I've got like the promos, and I think the promo packs has some sort of. It might just be the same Squirtle in that, but I'm not sure. Cute Squirtle Bulbasaur. Do you remember when I pulled Blastoise and Venusaur from the celebrations? Like that was so cute and so hype. Uh, we have a Professor, the team. Moltres one. Spinarak. Oh, Spinarak is a ditto. Look at it. There he is. My first ditto in the second pack. I think you might get one per box, so that's very exciting. I do want to peel it off, but I kind of want to wait to see if I get like two of the same, then I've got to keep like one with a ditto on and one without kind of thing. Oh, and Venusaur. Oh my gosh, yes. Hollow Venusaur. I do want to kind of complete the whole set. I'm not about not sure about in Japan but definitely the UK it might end up getting a mixture but does this feel like it doesn't feel actually too heavy but you can almost see that it's like oops sorry uh, you can almost see that it's like a little bit like got layers on and stuff but I don't want to peel this one off right now this is a spinner rack card it's not ditto I think it can be Bidoof maybe Apom as well I'm not sure I can't remember oh my gosh two packs in we already got a ditto so exciting. Do, 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 do. We have Camerupt, which I used to pronounce really weird on Gen 3 when it first came out. Uh, Ambipom, Lunatone, Wartartle, Conkledur V, is that what you're called? Gen 5. Conkledur V and the Fighting Energy. Oh, so the energy gets moved like that to the back. Cool. Fighting Energy. Uh, yeah. Because you get Timber, Girder, and Conkledur. That's right, isn't it? Probably. Okay, we got Squirtle and a War Turtle. We just need a Blastoise. Is there um, shiny versions of these in this as well? I can't actually remember. Uh, was that a different set? We have Alolan Raticate. Melmetal. No, Meltan. Melmetal is in here somewhere. VMAX. Uh, this guy, Wimp. Wimp Pod, uh, Alua, I have the Alua, I love Alua, uh, Zapdos, nice, and Lightning Energy. This is what I like. I like how, in at least in this, we seem to have got like, did I get Water Energy? No, I got Steel with Gyarados. Yeah, we got the Lightning with the Zapdos, and we got the um, Fighting with the Conkledur, which is cool. Okay, I could just see. You know what it is? When I first got this set. I actually bought three boxes, haven't touched them, and then I also bought three over Christmas. So this is like so exciting to just have six to unbox, one for the video. I might do another one another time, we'll see, but just to have like that many to just like open another box after this is so exciting. We have Numel, which I think can be Ditto as well. Apom, dodging the Pokeballs, Slowpoke. XA2, which another thing I've always said NA2 and X XA2 because I didn't know how to pronounce X A T U as a kid. But people say Zatu, Natu and Zatu, NA2, XA2. Melmetal, Hollow, and a Fire Energy. Nice. Yeah, think about the Japanese sets is yes, you get a lot less cards in the packs and you get less packs in the booster boxes, but you're guaranteed a hollow. The boxes are always guaranteed to have some sort of like ultra rare, like maybe it's one per box or something, uh, and maybe it's one ditto per box, that kind of thing. And it's always nice, and the quality is just stunning. I just love them. Bulbasaur, Bidoof, um, Egg Incubator, uh, Unpheasant, Gen 5. Uh, Alolan Executor V, which there is a promo box for that. I think this might be an alternate art version of that. And light energy. I should really move the energies at the back to the front, shouldn't I? Might do that for the rest of these. We'll see. Yeah, look how easy these are to open. I'm so strong. Like, I'm strong, and y'all don't even know, okay? Energy to the front. We have a darkness energy. Shiny hollow. Um, Natu. Slowpoke. Um, 
Ivysaur. Other trainer, professor guy. And this guy, Golios Pod from Generation 7. Win Pod. Golio. Is it Golios Pod? I don't know. I don't really love it. It's what um, Team Skull leader guy used, isn't it? I didn't love that it made an appearance in Pokemon Snap either. Personally, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Do, 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 do. So, energy to the front. I'm excited for some, at least one VMAX, hopefully, on this box. So, we have Steel Energy, Ambipom, Camerupt again, uh, Alolan Rattata, Solrock, and Moltres. Yes, okay, we got Zapdos and Moltres. We just need my favorite, Team Mystic, Articuno. Uh, that's really cute. Nice. Oh my god, I need to get a binder. I'm basically going to collect the entire base of this set, surely. There's only 72, 71 cards. So that's probably... You get 20 hollows per booster box. How many hollows is... Oh, I can't count. <gasps> Eevee! I haven't got Eevee yet. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love an Eevee card. I love a Ralts card as well. Just, you know, FYI. Natu. Charmeleon. We haven't got Charmander yet. Wow, well, okay. Charmeleon. Pokestar. Pokeballs. Melmetal V Max in Japanese. Oh my god, oh, I didn't move the thing. Uh, Psychic Energy. Wow, okay. That is shiny. I don't love the V Max cards. I like the V Stars. They're a bit more shiny and glossy. Um, I just never really like the swirling of the background because it's just the Pokemon in the same sort of basic rainbowy background for the entire Sword and Shield set. But I'm very excited for the GX cards. Not the GX. Ew, GX. Gen 7. I'm very excited for the EX cards, which are different to the original, well not the original, they're different as Gen 5 and 6 EX cards, but they are just amazing and crystalline gorgeousness. Melmetal, oh my gosh, it looks so cool. I love that. Wow. First VMAX of the box. I genuinely can't remember what else is in the set, VMAX wise. Surely Charizard or Snorlax. I genuinely can't remember. Do, do, do. All right, move you to here. I'm hoping for another ditto, though. Oh, Grass Energy. Wimpod. Um, Pedov. Gen 5. Pikachu! First Pikachu. Nice. I wonder if Raichu is in this set. Pupitar and Lapras Hollow. Yay! Super cute. And it's on the... Um, is it on Lapras? Lapras isn't on the hardware of the booster pack. I thought she was. Might be something else. Oh, Mewtwo as well, of course, because you get Mewtwo um, promo card. Mewtwo it must be a VMAX. Water energy. Lavatar with the uh, golden raspberry. That's really cute. Apom. Magikarp. Here she is, Team Mystic Professor. Forgot her name, but you know what I mean. <gasps> yes, I knew. I thought there was. It's the Radiant Doodad. Like, oh my god, the way that these are shining right now. Have you, oh my god, look at it in the ring light and the movement and everything. I need to get a closer look at that. Oh my gosh, it is a shiny, shining version of Blastoise, purple and green. The Japanese version. I don't know if it's like this in the English version, but the Japanese it is absolutely mad it's like diamondy hexagonal not hexagonal they're like slanty square in other words diamond sort of i can't even describe but that is absolutely amazing <laughs> i wonder if it's one of those per box which to be fair i don't mind because i love blastoise i love blue and when the blue we manifested it look at the shiny gorgeousness i love a venusaur and obviously charizard would be popular but blastoise amazing do, do, do. I think we're about halfway there. I haven't been counting, but maybe I'll count after this. Uh, okay, that was a really good rare. Wow. Okay, fire energy. Come on, Charizard. Meltan. Bird thing that Pedo evolves into. Water all. Chansey. And Blissey. Oh, that's cute. I love that together, one after another. Chansey and then the Blissey Hollow on top of a team red. Is it Miss? No, is it um, Mystic Valor and the other one? Valor's Zapdos in it. Anyway, on top of a gym, a red gym. What's Team Red? I don't know. How many we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're more than halfway there. We have a Ditto, we have a V Max, and we have a 
Shining Blastoise. Nice. I love it. Oops. Do, 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 do. Move the energy. Fighting energy. Charmander. Yes. Okay. I think I said I didn't have it, but either way, we've got them now. We've got War Turtle, uh, Ivysaur, and Blast. Um, Charmeleon too, so that's exciting. We just need a Charizard now. Lunatone. And Melmetal V. I do find this sometimes in the uh, Japanese boxes that if you get a Lapras, you also then get the Lapras V Max. I got that, like a Lapras V and a V Max. I got that in Shiny V Star. Shiny Star V. So since I got the Melmetal, this is like a Melmetal box. I got Melmetal V Max, got Melmetal V. It's not guaranteed, but I kind of do feel like that is the pattern that they do, uh, which is fair. Lightning Energy. Uh, Spinarak. This is a real Spinarak this time, not a ditto. Oh. Uh, Magikarp. Steelix again. Uh, Rare Candy. That's super cute. I love these, like, Pokemon Go items as trainer cards. It's just exciting. And we have a Snorlax Hollow. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I'm sure there's a Snorlax V in this set. Surely. Surely. I should really check the um, set list after this uh, video. Do, 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 do. So, we have a Darkness Energy. Pedos Ariados. Squirtle. Little Squirtle boy, I love him. Uh, Charmeleon. And Blastoise, yes, Blastoise Hollow. Okay, so we have that Venusaur Hollow, we have the Blastoise Hollow, we just need the Charizard Hollow, and we got the Blastoise Shining version. Nice. Seriously, I could just keep opening these. And you know what it is? The price of these didn't skyrocket like they did with like celebrations. Is that the right one? Yes, celebrations. And uh, even like shiny star V and stuff. So I got these for like thirty-five pound each. These boxes, which is just mad. Uh, water energy, Rattata, a palm, Lua, Pupitar again. We haven't seen Tyranitar, that's for sure. <gasps> Mewtwo V. Okay, this is a different one to the promo that I've seen. This is pretty cool, actually. Hang on. Yeah. Okay. Curious to see what it's like in English, but. Uh, Obviously, it's the same, but just a different word. And see what the attacks are. 160. Nice. Shiny and purpley. Love it. And obviously, Mewtwo is kind of a big deal with Pokemon Go because it was on the original trailer. And it's there in the Pokemon Detective Pikachu movie. Oh, that's different, but Detective Pikachu movie is like the main antagonist sort of thing. Like, Mewtwo is always there. It's just always going to be the villain. It's like Ganondorf or Bowser. Uh, Leaf Energy. Uh, Numel, I got scared there. I was like, maybe that's a ditto. Spinarak, Onyx, that's new. Um, Unpheasant. And the Charizard, yes. Oh, okay, cool. That's great. This is great for just a binder in general. We pretty much collected nearly the whole set across this one booster box, which is incredible. That's probably why it's not too rare. There's not major, like, chase pull cards, and I'm not that bothered. Like, I just like the cards, and they're cute. And they're shiny and they're Japanese, like hello. Then I'm gonna do it all again in English. So we are on to the third last pack. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm -mm. So we have a psychic energy, um Bidoof, Charmander, Lavatar, Lua, and Ooh! Oh my gosh! Dragonite V Star! Oh wow, that is in the promo premier ball box in the english version but i think the only way to get it here is to actually pull it and the v stars are so cool pretty shine like nicer like lighter colors i like the v star vibe oh wow i'm so happy i got that oh yeah that is you must get like one v max and one v star per box which is super exciting plus the ditto plus the shiny blastoise so we are now down to the last two packs so i think we must have had our look for this box now but you never know there probably might be one more v card we'll see they're quite generous i think 20 packs and you get a decent sort of thing in the japanese booster boxes decent pull rate so uh spinarak pedov meltan xatu oh wow okay what did i just say about the look i thought it was i didn't oh my god 
slacking V, but it's the full art. Like, what is it? Number 79 out of 71? Uh, 71, yeah. Wow. Okay, so there's these full arts. I need to check out the set. I really do, just to see what is in this set. But that's mad to think that you can get a V Max, a V Star, a full art V, and the Ditto and the, the, the Shiny in one box, which is mad to think I've got five more boxes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the last pack. I'm definitely not expecting anything at this point from that. Not at all. But this is going to be a pretty cute little juicy shiny recap, that's for sure. To end with a fire energy and another onyx, squirtle squirt, slow bro, team guy, and the uh, tyranitar hollow. Yes, that's actually a really good way to end because I feel like I've pretty much got nearly the entire set from this box, which is just mad. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to tidy up, and get ready for a recap. Okay, so it's time for a recap, and obviously we have the Ditto Spinner Rack at the bottom here, and after feeling all the other cards, it is definitely more obvious when you feel like that's like cardboardy kind of thing, so quite excited about that, but I don't want to open it in case I never get another Spinner Rack Ditto. I'd rather wait to see whether I get another one, and then in the next video I might open it. Well, I definitely will open the seal if it is, but otherwise that's pretty cool for the Ditto. We have the Venusaur uh, Hollow... Charizard Hollow, Blastoise Hollow, Gyarados, Snorlax, Lapras, Zapdos, Moltres, Blissey, Tyranitar, and Golios Pod, and Melmetal. So that's a lot of hollows. That's like, I don't even know how many, 12 for the 20 packs, which is incredible. And I feel like I might need Slacking, obviously Articuno. I don't know what else there is, but we got a Conkledurt V. Alolan Executor V, Mewtwo V, and Melmetal V, and then we got the Full Art V Slacking, which is a very exciting, the uh, Shining Iridescent um, Shiny version of Blastoise, I'm not too sure what the proper name is for them, but that is so cute, I love it, especially the Japanese version, Melmetal V Max, and the Dragonite V-Star, which is one of the ones I'm most excited to have got from this box, which is fabulous! So that is pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. Have you been unboxing them? I know it's like an older set at this point. Not really, but there's obviously so many things happening, like Crown Zenith is out, which I'm not really too fussed about getting. Really excited about the Pokemon Go, like especially Japanese. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't even open the thing. Oh my god, I'm literally at the end of the video and I haven't opened the six promo packs. <laughs> Okay, well, this is a recap for that, and I will, let's, okay, let's just, oh my gosh, let's, uh, I don't know, yeah, let's open the, the six promos, hang on, give me a sec, but this is, okay, okay, yeah, I can't believe I forgot that, so we've got the six here, I'm gonna open all six, and then we're gonna look at the cards individually, so just give me a second to, like, bulk open these, because it's annoying when they've got, like, the little side thing, ooh, that's a dragon hollow looking thing. I'm going to open them all, turn them all around, and then we'll just like reveal them in a minute. Okay, so that first one was dragon. Let's turn them all around. And the first one is Dragonite V Star Alternate Art. This is the. Oh my gosh, it's right there at the top. Hang on a second. This is the V, the Dragonite V Star unboxing right now with the Pokemon Go logo on the side. That's so nice. I assume this is rare. Like, there's only seven in these promo packs, and I thought it was. Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and whatever else, so it makes sense kind of thing. Oh, there it is, a Charmander, which I've got the English version from the, the box um, that you can buy. That is super cute, holding the little gift that you can give as presents. Same with the Squirtle, amazing. Okay, I'm glad to not, like, get, obviously, a duplicate Dragonite would be kind of incredible, but just to not have the duplicates already three cards in, Squirtle with the present. And Bulbasaur, I got all three. That's all I really wanted. I know I have a lot of packs. I got more than just these six when I bought the, the three booster boxes, but wow, okay, okay. Melmetal V, okay. It's like, full art sort of artwork, which is super cool. So I've actually got one, two, three, four, Five out of five, no duplicates so far, which is incredible. And another Bulbasaur, which, hey, I can't complain, which for the Melmetal and the Dragonite, so one, two, three, four, five, six, there's two more to get, which must be either like Blissey, Slacking, Lapras or something. I need to Google it, actually. After I've done this video, I'm going to see what the promos were, but that is incredible, especially the Dragonite 
and the male metal but unfortunately it's on like a little bit bent in comparison to the others but they're not too bad and they're just going to go on my binder so i love that okay back to past me where i thought i'd finish the video oh my gosh like could you believe it thank you all for watching i'll see you very soon for some more videos bye guys it's just sad having to close down such a fabulous interface look it's got the menu it's got the price got your search all the different things this section here is incredible the virtual console look gaming classics from past systems the way that it is now on the switch i mean it's separate because it's on the uh, nintendo switch online fair enough it's kind of a cool interface the eShop is trash it is awful it just looks so bad